8. mart je eksploatacija resursa. Od strane žena upotrebom vaginalne manipulacije, koja se prikazuje kao neka moralna predstava na nivou društva, u čijem narativu su žene prikazuju kao dobre, cool i svi ostali majkoviti prikazi, dok je istina zapravo da je to samo još jedna od taktika upotrebe društvenog sramoćenja, gdje se od muškaraca uzima i traže nešto na način da se učini, da se ti muškarice oči u krivim ili lošim ili bilo koji drugi vid manipulacije sramotom, ako ne ispune podrazumevanu društvenu normu. Normativ definisan na ideji da su muškarci žene ugrožavali hiljadama godina i zato sad moraju da vrše nadoknade. Drugim rečima, još jedna od parazitskih formi žena sa ciljem dobijanja besplatnih stvari bez da one moraju da daju šta nazad. Prvo pogledamo Marka Rudova na temu Valentinova koji je u suštini isto sranje kao i 8. mart samo sa manje politike i debelih feminjara koji misle da je njihov loš odnos sa ocem računa pod aktivizam i borbu za nešto. To je u principu praznik koji se također može upotrebiti najbolje sa praznikom prekljupanja i recikliranja smeća. Na istom su nivou. A ja ću u deskripciji ostaviti link načina koji žene manipulišu i vrše vrste manipulacija s ramotom. Okay, men, listen up. My next guest says it is time to boycott Valentine's Day. Why? Because men spend twice as much on women as women spend on men, as it should be. Well, Mark Rudolph, the author of Man's No-Nonsense Guide to Women, is here to take on him, is Tanya Acker. And Mark, you say men should keep their wallets closed this Valentine's Day. Why? Well, first of the thing, Terry, you just right off the bat, you said as it should be, that men should spend twice as much as, as women. There you go. You just gave a good reason. Look, Valentine's Day is all about her. That's the first mm -hmm. reason men should boycott it. The second is that it's expected generosity, which is not only oxymoronic, it's moronic. You know, it's demanded, it's expected, it's contrived, it's commercial, it's forced, it's phony. Those are all good reasons for not doing it. You know, there's a double standard. Women love to be capitalists at work and socialists in their social lives. And what are the two pillars of socialism? Entitlements and redistribution of wealth from men to women. So this is now, Tanya. you're going to hear, you're going to hear an outburst. You're going to hear an outburst from Tanya. And so when you hear this outburst, you'll know why men go along with Valentine's Okay, Day let's hear it then, Tanya, go, the Tanya. I, I don't know if this is an outburst. I'm just wondering, Mark, who broke your heart uh, so terribly that you've gone to this dark place? I mean, I, you know, is chivalry that dead? Is it that it's, it's awful completely to do dead. something nice? Is it that chivalry, awful to do something chivalry, nice for somebody chivalry, who you, who you Tanya, care about? Chivalry, Tanya, chivalry is benevolent sexism, which is BS. Well, I would actually happen to disagree with you as a feminist, as an independent woman, as somebody who supports myself and has uh, for my whole life. I think it's actually nice when a man opens a door or uh, sends a box of chocolate. And by the way, you say that this, this holiday is all for women. Uh, I yes. think most men would tend to disagree. I think that when most, most men, men would are, not disagree. I think when men, I think when men are gifting their ladies with pricey lingerie, that's not just for the ladies. Like that's something <laughs> that people can, uh, it's something that people can enjoy mutually. I'm sorry that you don't seem to be enjoying it. She has a point, you, Mark. If you watch TV, if you watch TV, you will see that all the commercials are aimed at men. You have jewelry commercials, you have Vermont teddy bears, you have pajama grams, <laughs> so like all you don't telling get men what gifts? to buy women. So you feel like you don't get enough gifts, is that what it is? You want more Tanya, gifts? come on. Everything you buy for Valentine's Day is overpriced. And men, you know, when you're <laughs> receiving a present on Valentine's Day, you know the man is feeling forced to give it to you. So it's Should not really romantic. Should we cancel Christmas too? 
do you want to cancel Christmas as well? Because prices go up around Christmas as well. I mean, do you want to cancel I thought we're talking about Valentine's Day, about, Tanya. What about Easter? Look, Valentine's Day Tanya, is one stick to the I'm subject. I'm not going to disagree with you. I'm not going to disagree with you that, yes, it's become a commercial holiday. Now, having said that, it's one time a year that we set aside to acknowledge some romance in our yeah. lives. And what's and wrong with that, Mark? What is wrong with that? If you're only it? getting romance one day a year, you're not attracting very nice I should men. I hope not. I, well, I didn't say I'm only getting it once a year. If you're getting year, romance, you know what? If you're getting not. romance three, if you're getting romance <laughs> every day of the year, Tanya, then February 14th is not going to mean anything to you. It's nice to have a day. It's nice to have a day that we no, set it's aside not. on a national it's It is. It is, Mark. You should try it. It is nice. It's good. I have a it's message for all men listening to me. This is a phony nonsense holiday. So when you're, if, you're okay. looking, listening. if you feel roped in to Valentine's this year and you don't have the cojones to boycott it, here's my suggestion. On <coughs> Thursday, I was with Neil Cavuto in Pebble Beach. Clint Eastwood was right in the chair. So you become Dirty Harry. When you get the bill for the restaurant, what you do is you look at it, you look at her, and you say, feeling lucky? Go ahead, uh, make my day. You pay. Uh, Mark, I have a message for you. Chival chivalry works. Try it chivalry sometime. Is dead. Try it sometime. Okay, chivalry there is, is dead, love man. in the air. There is still Boycott love in the air here at Cash and In. A daughter of a farming man, alas, with raven locks. I met her at the cock and bull, the tavern by the docks. Although we courted but a week, my love for her persisted. For when with her we swiped in ways I never knew existed. She's a whore, yes, a whore, a lass of myth and lore. A pontiff, thanks of oral sex, she'll rhyme until you're sore. Yes, she's a whore, yes, a whore, she is dear to feet and core. Her legs displayed will all get laid by the whore that we adore. Her bosoms were named Mary, for they were pure and white. Her muff was named Elizabeth, cause it was nice and tight. Her nips were named Daisy and Rose, for they're like flowering buds. But her ass was named the River Tam, cause it is full of mud. Yes, she's a whore, yes, a whore, a lass of myth and lore. A pontiff, thanks of oral sex, she'll ride you till you're sore. Yes, she's a whore, yes, a whore, she is dear to fleet and core. Her legs displayed will all get laid by the whore that we adore. Well, soon after we parted ways, I saw her with me friend. They courted but a week or two, but that came to an end. She then did hop from bed to bed, but what made me so mad? Was after several months had passed, I saw her with me dad. She's oh, a whore, whore, yes, a whore, a lass of myth and lore. A pontiff, thanks to moral sex, she'll ride it till you're sore. Yes, she's a whore, yes, a whore, she is dear to fleet and core. Her legs displayed will all get laid by the whore that we adore. One day while at the tavern here, I heard unhappy news. This country lass had died of clap, but what a duel to lose. Tis not as sad as one may think, as I soon realized. For all those saints now pass around the big bed in the sky. She's a whore, yes, a whore, a lass of myth and lore. A pontiff, vex of oral sex, she'll ride you till you're sore. Yes, she's a whore, yes, a whore, she is dear to fleet and core. Her legs are splayed, we'll all get laid by the whore that we adore. She's a whore, yes, a whore, a lass of yes, myth and lore. She's a whore, yes, a whore, she is here to be a whore, her legs